Rocking with pettyblog.com. I can't be on the petty blog. <laughs> oh, petty. So they already know that I'm dropping the tea. So let's get right into it. All six of Shanquella's fake friends have been identified and they are all running for cover all over social media. From deactivating their Facebooks to privatizing their IGs to erasing their LinkedIn profiles. But too bad the internet is undefeated and is still finding ways to catch them. And for those who may be lost and don't know what in the world I'm even talking about, Basically, long story short, a 25-year-old business owner who does kids here for a living and also travels on her free time was invited to Mexico to celebrate one of her friend's B-Days. But when she got there within 24 hours, she was no longer breathing after one of her so-called friends beat her to death while she was naked. And that's what I forgot to mention in the previous one. She didn't have any clothes on. And this is why her so-called male bestie was recording, laughing, and told her to at least fight back condescendingly. To which Shanquella said no. Good luck, can you at least fight back? No. Like, they literally thought it was funny to do this to a peaceful girl. And the result is that Shanquella ended up having a broken neck and back. She had injuries to her neck and a cracked spine to be exact. But these fake friends of hers decided to quickly cover their tracks, or so they thought, and tried to paint her as a drunk and called her mother and said that she had alcohol poisoning while drinking. And you know, a lot of mothers have instincts, so she was suspicious. And each and every one of these fake friends had a different story about what happened. Each one of the, the people that was there with her was telling different stories. Because what happens is the truth remains the same, but a lie always changes. Because you're trying to remember it, and there's always holes all over it. And honestly, they almost got away with it, because the Mexican authorities for whatever reason ruled it out as no foul play mexico refute the claim that robinson was murdered there was no evidence of foul play however if it wasn't for an autopsy that her mom ordered that revealed her real injuries and that there wasn't even any alcohol in her system or whatever then they would have got away the autopsy came back they said it didn't have anything to do with alcohol so now that all of them look suspicious i guess to exonerate himself the one that was recording released video of who exactly put hands on her and it's this girl in this picture. But boo boo, you look just as guilty cause you were egging it on. And what, you're only putting it out because you don't want to be arrested. So if the autopsy was never done, you would have kept quiet forever, huh? Yeah, no, you're guilty too. Plus who's to say what else either the friend who was beating on her did after the camera went off or what the rest of you did to contribute to her injuries. I'm just saying. All in all, you all are accomplices to Shanquella's murder. And you could try to run all you want to, but none of you can really hide. Cause we the people are on your ass. Cause this literally could have have been any one of us plus justice needs to be served asap so y'all need to start talking those responsible need to be held accountable and quella thought you guys were her friends so how dare y'all do this to her and without further ado here are the six involved the coward one who was hitting her while she was naked is dejanae jackson yeah we all got our foots on your neck now let's go on over to the loser lame who was recording and thought it was funny to be shady and tell her to fight back the one and only her best friend Khalil Cook. Shame on you. And here are the rest of her friends who were there. You know, in Mexico and allegedly let it all happen and lied that she drank too much alcohol to cover their tracks. Here we go. Winter Donovan. Yes, you're pretty sis, but that doesn't mean that you're about to get away with it. So if you're involved, you better start talking and tell us what really happened. Say something sis. Next, Malik Dyer. You look like you regret going on this trip altogether, like seriously, but you need to start talking and getting justice for your friend. Okay, open up, say something. Next, we have Elise Hyatt. Girl, you got this innocent office look going on. So if you don't start talking, come on, say something. And Nazir Wiggins, I don't even know what to say about you. But yeah, these are the six who know more of what happened. And honestly, the fact that Quella was still naked when this girl attacked her and her so-called bestie was so quick to record is telling me that this might have been a setup for real. Like they had to take her all the way to another country where they knew that the laws were close to none. Clearly, hence no foul play without even looking into it. But if this was pre-planned, that's crazy. With friends like this, who needs enemies? I don't really want friends. Everybody fake. I don't got trust. And look y'all, let me know if I'm bugging right. So one of them had a picture from 10 years ago and am I tweaking or is this the six of them? Mine is Shanquella. Oh, so y'all possibly been a pad con. Mm -mm. But what are y'all thinking exactly? We really wanna know, so leave your thoughts below and don't forget to like this video and share this content. And if it's your first time here, be sure to sub to this channel for more. And be sure to also hit that bell to join the notification gang. Petsyblog.com signing out.